Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you what we have just got from the shops for our family food haul for this week. So I think I've probably, I've got seven meals here that I want to show you guys. And these seven meals, I'm actually going to meal prep. So the video that's coming on Sunday is going to be how I meal prep seven meals in one hour. So everything I show you here will be going onto my channel on Sunday. So if you're not subscribed, I would love for you to subscribe because then you'll be able to see how you can make your life so much simpler by meal prepping one hour of your life to cater for seven meals for the family you got to try it so um like i said this is what we have bought for the week this will probably do us for um no it'll probably do us for a week because um, my family eats so much and especially with the boys being home all the time they're just constantly eating and snacking whereas they would normally be having that food at school with their school dinners or rory would normally take a packed lunch in with him so I'm just going to talk you through what I have got for um, fruit, breakfast, lunch, snack, dinners and some treats as well and um, hopefully it'll give you some ideas of what you can cook for your family. I have made a couple of these recipes before in my Sunday recipes so whichever ones I have done before I will link down below in my description box so if you like the sound of them you can go and make them before Sunday comes around. So this food shop came to £111 but that is because I have bought some alcohol because you definitely need some alcohol to get through these times. Normally my food shop for a week would cost between about 70 to 80 pounds but like I said I have got some alcohol and I have got some extra treats and extra food to feed our family this week because everyone is home so with all that said I'll take you through now what I have got for this week okay so starting off with the fruit that we got for this week um our kids love fruit they go through it so quickly so we've got some nectarines some plums some apples a melon two mangoes five bananas, we use this in our smoothies as well. Um, <clears throat> we've got some lemons, some limes, and some kiwis as well. Right, for breakfast, we have got some Weetabix. This is just the Tesco own brand Weetabix. We just buy whatever's on offer or whatever's cheaper. We've got some porridge oats. We've got some um, plain yogurt as well. We've got some exotic fruit. This is the frozen fruit mix. So what we like to do is with the banana from the other section I just showed you, is we like to make up some smoothies. So we add some oats to this or some protein as well in the morning with some of the yogurt and it makes a really nice like breakfast smoothie or snack smoothie. Um, we've also got some bread and then these on the vine tomatoes. So what we like to do, my mum and dad live in Spain and um, they have like this kind of like tomato mix on bread in the mornings for their breakfast. It's so nice. So we just blitz up some tomatoes, cut some of this bread and toast it, a little bit of olive oil, and then the blitzed up tomato with some salt and pepper. And it's so nice. This is like always our summer um, breakfast because it's really refreshing and really, really tasty. Um, we haven't got milk in here because we get our milk delivered by Milk and More. So um, I never really buy it from the shops. Okay, so over here is my lunch and snack area. So for lunches, we typically will make things like sandwiches or wraps, which I've got here. So I've actually also still got some tuna left over. So I'll just like make some tuna wraps um, with some cut up cucumber in there. Or we like to make our own pizzas. So I've got some tomato puree here. I've got two lots of pita bread. So I'll just squeeze the tomato puree onto the pita bread grate some cheese and then I've got some of this pizza pepperoni um these slices that we add on there as well and just cook them in the oven for a little bit it's really really nice I've also got two lots of ham so we can have like ham and rocket wraps ketchup because we're running out um the boys love to on the side of their pizzas or their um or their wraps or anything like that have a bag of crisps so I've got two lots of the variety packs of the oven baked crisps and I've also got this um like sea salt and vit cider vinegar ones for Chris and I because we prefer those we just have like a handful next to our sandwiches um when we have them um also we love to have a bit of soft cheese so you could have like soft cheese and ham wraps loads of different varieties so I've got the garlic and herb one here and I have just got the normal um, soft cheese here. I've got three cucumbers and two peppers. That's because the boys love those like their morning um, snacks when they've done Joe Wicks or something after 9.30 in the morning, they think it's time for another snack. So we just cut up this whole lot here and put them in a Tupperware in the fridge and the boys can just help themselves. I've also got two um, really, really big potatoes here. Now these are massive. So one of these potatoes will feed two of us. So what I do is I just chop them in half, put them in the oven and make them as baked potatoes as a sort of lunchtime snack with a few crisps on the side um, or some salad on the side as well. So that's what I've got here. And like I said, I do have some leftover tuna from last week. Over here is our treat section. So I have got um, eight of these little aero 
um, yogurt type mousse things. And then I have also got these Belvita biscuits are so nice. These are like a big soft baked ones with chocolate on the inside. So you just literally have one of these or you like share one and they are delicious. And then the boys really like getting these and having these are blueberry and flaxseed Belvita seeded biscuit type things you get three in a pack so they usually get like for a snack they'll have one pack but between the two of them so they have one and a half each and it's just like the perfect amount of snacks and then I have got white wine and two Proseccos because those are 100% needed at this time I have got a Sauvignon Blanc and I have got this Prosecco I always just buy whatever's on offer and these were all on offer I think they were all meant to be about 10 or 11 pounds and I got them all for seven pounds each so yeah this is our snack and delicious section. Right, so I thought I'd start off with my meals here. So I have got seven meals all together here because like I said, I'm going to be making a video to show you how I meal prep these in one hour. So this is my tomato kind of sauce, or this is actually going to be a soup that I'm going to create. Then this soup is going to be my soup as one meal, but it's also going to go into a few of my other meals that I'm going to show you. So to make this soup, I will put in probably like two veggie stocks because this is gonna be a lot of soup. Um, I'll add in like all three of these onions, this whole bulb of garlic. It sounds like it's going to be really, really garlicky, but because I'm going to split it up between all the different meals as well, it works out really, really well. Um, I bought these sweet peppers in here as well. So I add this whole jar into my soup mix and it just gives it a really, really yummy taste. I also peel and chop up um, carrots and put those in there all of these peppers as well and then I blitz everything down so it's smooth um, and then that is a meal it's a soup and we we'll have it with some like toasted pita breads or something like that for lunch right these are my next two meals so I'm going to be making a cottage pie and like I said I'm going to be adding some of the soup mixture into these two meals so I've got a cottage pie here I'll also add in some peas which you'll see in a minute are just round to another meal um, so basically because I'm going to have all the different veggies and peppers and onions from the soup mixture go into here all I need to do is just fry off my mince and brown it a little and then add in my soup mixture add in some peas and then while that's all cooking away I'll be boiling up my potatoes making them into mash over here I'm going to be making lasagna so I have bought milk for this because I make a white sauce and I think a lasagna is really good with like a lot of white sauce so I wanted to buy some extra milk so I didn't use so I don't use all of our milk and more milk making our white sauce I've also got some butter for our white sauce and I've already got some flour left over in my cupboards so again like I said I'll just fry off my meat and then I'll pop in the um, the soup mixture into here and then while that's sort of like cooking away I'll be making up my white sauce I've already got some lasagna sheets as well and then I'll serve it on the side with some salad and I will have some peppers and cucumber that I would have cut up already from the boys and um, for the boys snacks so I'll just use some of that in my salad as well right for this meal I'm going to be making a fish pie so when I make up the white sauce for my lasagna I'm going to just make up like double quantity so I can use the rest of the white sauce for this meal so I have got my um I always buy this fish pie mix because it's just really really convenient and it's got all the different fish in here that you need it you've got cod smoked haddock and salmon and it's just the right amount as well for all four of us to make a really nice amount of dinner I've got peas here because I always add peas into my fish pie and then these peas are also going to be the ones that will go in the cottage pie that I just showed you um, I always add eggs into my fish pie as well so I've got six eggs here and I'll probably add um, I'll probably add like three or four of these eggs into our fish pie. Just boil them off and then once they're ready, I'll just take them out of the water and then cut them up into the fish pie. Make some mash as well and then just top that off. It's really, really nice fish pie. I'll link the video down below actually as to how I make this. It's really, really tasty. Right, so my next two meals here are two curries. That's why I'm showing you them together because like when I make my soup and my white sauce, I'm going to be making up my curry kind of paste for these two at the same time. So to make my curry paste, I'm going to be using ginger, onion, garlic, I've got some coriander already, and turmeric and cumin. I'm also going to be using some fennel seeds as well. Um, chopped tomatoes, I've got lamb mince here. So that's gonna be my lamb curry. And then for my veggie curry, I have got some chickpeas and I'm going to also add in some coconut milk to make it a little bit kind of creamy. I've got some runner beans to go in there and some carrots. And then I wanted to buy some baby corn to go in here as well, but it didn't have any. So I might add in some red lentils, which I've already 
already got or I might add in some of the peas that I just showed you from the fish pie mix. So we're making up this paste and then I will just split it between the two curries and then I've also got some rice here to serve it all with and obviously some mango chutney too because I feel like you can't have a curry without finishing off some mango chutney. And then my final meal is going to be a katsu curry. So I've made this before, I'll link the video down below as well, it's really nice. Um, so what I'll first of all start off by doing is getting my chicken breasts and I'll coat them, I'll beat up an egg and I'll coat them in the egg mixture, then coat them in flour which I've already got and then I'll get one kind of like stalish bread piece and I'll blitz that up and I'll coat them in there too and then you just fry these pieces of chicken off um, and then to make up my katsu sauce I'll be using one onion some carrots from the leftover carrots that I've got from my um, veggie curry and then I'll also use garlic ginger which I showed you before um, I'll also use some turmeric and honey and then I will make some like maybe some wedges on the side of this or that's why I put these potatoes here I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to serve this with yet but I've got rice I could choose from um, yeah, might do some kind of like chips or something. Is that a bit strange to have chips with the katsu curry? Maybe it is. Maybe I'll just serve it with the rice that I just showed you over here that I have got for my other curries. Um, so I'll have loads and loads left over there. But if I do use the um, rice, then I'll obviously have two um, massive potatoes left over, which I can use for something else. But because, like I said, this is going to have like carrots in here and garlic and ginger and everything the sauce isn't going to be fattening at all it's just going to be really really yummy and taste exactly like it does in Wagamama's as well. Thanks so much for watching today's video I hope you enjoyed it and it gave you some meal inspiration like I said don't forget to subscribe because I'm going to be posting all of these seven meals on Sunday and show you how I'm going to prepare them in one hour. See you guys soon bye!